and to show you how Datalier works in the OpenWide distribution. First of all, Datalier, the, the feature that we have in the OpenWide allows us to expose metadata information for third-party services. It could be useful for integrations with some analytics tracking with third-party services that are working with some entities and content from the website. So in general, it's really useful to have this since it's really easy in configuration and it's really powerful in terms of the functionality. So let's start. Right now I'm, the, uh, I'm on the OpenWide website and I'm on the home page. So in order to see which properties are exposed for this specific page, I'm going to open the Chrome development tool. So in order to do this, I click on the settings icon, then more tools, and then developer tools. Once the uh, panel is opened, I should open console tab there. So in this tab, I'm able to write any JavaScript code and interact with the page itself. So in order to take a look which data is exposed through data layer, I should write data layer and then, uh, and then enter this. After this, we will see a list of properties that are exposed on this specific page. For example, we may see Drupal language, bundle type, create a date, title, and ID of that content. Since learning pages are built using components, the most useful attribute here is the only title. If we take a look at the program, in the same way we open developer tool, we enter data layer, and for this content type, we will see some additional information. As example, we see field program description, so we can get the description of this uh, program. If we take a look at the example with blog post, in the same way, open development tool, uh, enter data layer, and for blog posts, we have title, we have category, we have description and blog style. This is the style of teasers that we see. They may be photo based, they may be just text with the color and etc. So by default, we just expose some very basic metadata through the data layer. But you can easily configure this. In order to do this, you can go to structure, then content types. Then you can configure data layer and which fields should be exposed for every content types that we have in the distro. As example, I would like to hide the uh, program description for the uh, program content type. So I go to con structure content types, then program, click on manage fields, then select description and click edit. And there we will see single checkbox that says expose in data layer. So I just uncheck this one, save settings, reload the program page, and take a look at the updated data layer information. And now we do not have description there. In the same way, you can enable new fields that should be exposed. In most cases, by default, data layer exposes the fields as is. As example, here is the taxonomy information. It's just ID and label. If we take a look uh, at the other, let me enable description back. So if we take a look at the other metadata attributes, for some cases, they might be simplified because not always you have to expose uh, the expose the the whole array of data. For example, we have field program description, we have format, then we have value. In order to simplify or 
add some calculated properties or calculated fields into the data layer, we have documentation for that and how you can do this. Everything that we should do, go to GitHub, ymc.cities slash openy. Then we can navigate to the docs folder, then select development and data layer. In this document, we describe first how you can add custom properties. So there is a hook data layer meta that allows you to specify new properties, new custom properties. In case if you would like to alter already exposed properties, there is another hook that's called hook data layer meta alter that you can define and remove some unneeded properties or change some properties or simplify them. So that's how you can actually uh, manage the data layer options and data layer information. There are two other hooks. Uh, this one is just adds a new field and this is the alter as well. Here is a few, a few examples how you can work with this. So this is pretty much it. In case if you are building some integrations with analytics or with uh, some services that should have an access to your pages, let's say Google Tag Manager or Hotjar or Google Analytics, they may use information from the data layer. This is pretty much it. Thank you very much.